Yesterday was the first day of the Senior Bowl training camp in Mobile, Alabama. Miami Dolphins coaching staff made their first contact with the Stars in 2021 NFL Draft. A positive signal is immediately sent. Miami Dolphins head coach, Brian Flores had a brief, private discussion with Devonta Smith. A secret reporter will reveal the secret of this conversation. In addition, running back coach Eric Studesville also had first contacts with Crimson Tide star Najee Harris. Head coach Brian Flores announcing the offensive coordinator's evolution. Miami Dolphins added a new coach in the 2021 season. Dolphins Jason Taylor was honored to be named in the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame. Let's take a look at Miami Dolphins free agent on offensive. Here is the detailed content. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to not miss the latest, hottest news. Heisman Trophy winner Devona Smith has arm reuniting with former college teammate Tua Tungavailoa, and the thought could be mutual. Cameron Wolf report. During a conversation with coach Brian Flores, Devonta Smith expressed his wish that he would love to play with Tua Tungavailoa. Smith said, we just talked about it would be nice to run it back again. He said that after Tuesday's practice at the Senior Bowl about the possibility of teaming up again with the Dolphins' starting quarterback. The Dolphins hold the number three pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, and the team has a big need for more explosive playmakers for Tungavailoa. Smith, who became the first wide receiver to win the Heisman Trophy since Desmond Howard in 1991 and only the second since 1940, would certainly fit that criterion. Smith is participating in meetings and watching practices along with Dolphins coaches at the Senior Bowl, but he is not participating on the field because of a dislocated finger suffered in Alabama's national championship victory over Ohio State. In Alabama's national championship victory over Ohio State, he had 12 catches for 215 yards and three touchdowns in that game before the injury. He was wearing a black wrap on his right hand Tuesday. The biggest question about Smith leading up to the draft is whether his size will hinder his becoming a top five pick. Alabama listed Smith as 6 foot 1, 175 pounds, and he declined to weigh in at the Senior Bowl on Tuesday. He said he'd wait until Alabama's pro day to do full measurements. Dolphins coach Brian Flores doesn't seem too worried about Smith's size affecting their evaluation of him. This guy is a very, very good player. You can nitpick all you want about a guy's size, but good players are good players are good players. We all can see that, Flores said Tuesday. This guy is a very good player. He made a lot of plays in college. He made a lot of plays in the biggest games of the year. You can very good player, and it's been good getting to know him. He's a good kid, too. Smith played bigger than his size in college, as he regularly found a way to separate from press coverage, broke tackles in the open field and proved to be durable throughout his four-year career at Alabama. If the Dolphins want Smith, they might have some competition. But as what I reported, having Tua Tungavailoa in the team will be a great bait for Smith. Devonda Smith defied his injury and can not to play at the Senior Bowl, but he accepted this invitation. I think his outreach to Brian Flores was calculated. Indeed, this is very good news for fans. It's like a wild horse falling into the net on its own. Sometimes you don't have to go hunting. Another important information that everyone needs to know. Running back Najee Harris, Smith's teammate at Alabama, is also participating under the tutelage of Dolphins coaches at the Senior Bowl and also could be on the team's radar to reunite with Tungavailoa in Miami. Miami Dolphins running backs coach Eric Studesville was seen leading running back Najee Harris through drills leading up to the Senior Bowl. Harris is one of the top running back prospects in this year's draft class, and the Dolphins could certainly be interested. Miami got some solid play out of Salvin Ahmed and Miles Gaskin this past season, but both players suffered injuries during the year. Miami may want a more durable back to play with Ahmed and Gaskin, and Harris could fit that role. At the University of Alabama, Harris carried the ball 638 times for 3,843 yards over four seasons. He averaged six yards per carry for his career and scored 46 rushing touchdowns, dominant. He carried the ball 251 times for 1,466 yards in 13 games. He scored 26 rushing touchdowns and four receiving touchdowns and helped lead Alabama to a college football championship. 
As the Dolphins get a closer look at Harris at the Senior Bowl, fans shouldn't be surprised if he is one of the players they select in the 2021 NFL Draft. A said about offensive coordinator's evolution. Head coach Brian Flores was asked about the offensive coordinator position earlier today, said, he's still going through the process of finding the team's next offensive play caller. We're going through our process with the coordinator position. Look, we've got very capable guys in running backs coach Eric Studesville and tight ends coach George Godsey and a good young staff. Putting together a plan is really not much of an issue. Those guys are doing a good job and we'll go through the process. But really the focus is on the players here at the Senior Bowl, the evaluations of the players here at the Senior Bowl, and hopefully we'll get as much information to help us make good decisions come draft time. You can't really fault Flores for doing his due diligence. After all, this is arguably the most important decision he's faced as head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Perhaps he's using the Senior Bowl to see what Godsey and Studesville can do as play caller. Or maybe, the Dolphins' next offensive coordinator is preparing for the Super Bowl. So, who do you think will be the Miami Dolphins' next offensive coordinator? Miami Dolphins added a new coach in the 2021 season. The Dolphins made another addition to the coaching staff Monday. Jordan Salkin will be joining head coach Brian Flores' staff as a quality control coach. Salkin's most recent stop was at University of New Mexico, where he coached the Lobos quarterbacks. Previously, he was on the offensive staff at the University of Texas. Honored to be named in the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame. In 2009, Dolphins Hall of Fame defensive end Jason Taylor was named to the Senior Bowl Hall of Fame, a tribute to players who made lasting contributions on the game of football. Taylor recently appeared on the Audible with Kim Bocamper and John Congemi. Among several topics, they discussed Zach Thomas's Hall of Fame candidacy. Jason Taylor entered the NFL in Thomas's second season as a pro in 1997, the same year the NFL's all-time winningest coach, Don Shula, was selected for his gold jacket and inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Taylor won the defensive MVP for the 1997 Senior Bowl despite being kicked out of the game and welcomed back in the second half. He told the story of that day on the Fish Tank podcast with O.J. McDuffie and Seth Levitt, plus why J.T. was so antsy to mix it up with his fellow All-Stars that day. At the end, a look at Miami Dolphins' free agent on offensive. As the Miami Dolphins work on their offseason preparation and look at not only the draft but the pending free agents to see whom they should bring in to help build on the improvements made this past season. The Dolphins are doing their due diligence on the upcoming draft however the other side of that is free agency. Who are some of the free agent targets the team should pursue on offense? Quarterback, don't get it wrong. I do not talk about the quarterback's change, because the Dolphins have said and shown that Tua Tungavailoa is the quarterback for the team moving forward. But the backup position is a question mark. Is there a veteran player to help further Tungavailoa's development? Ryan Fitzpatrick is slated to be a free agent and at 39 years of age, the main question would be if he wanted to still play. Looking at his face during the season, those smiles would indicate yes. Some of us could even draw comparisons to Don Strock's role with the doll early years of Marino's career. Other names poised to be free agents include Mitch Trubisky, Jacoby Brissett, Cam Newton, Jameis Winston, and Andy Dalton. The answer is, resigning Fitzpatrick makes the most sense. He already has a rapport with the tongue of Iloa and the offense. Also, being in a traditional off-season program, hopefully, will give some more learning opportunities for the young signal caller for the Dolphins. Also, with the turnover on the coaching side, offensive coordinator as well as position coach, continuity and a familiar person would definitely help. To his weapon. Devonda Smith or Najee Harris are top choice, but there are quite a number of decisions for the receivers coming up. Devontae Parker has upped his game. Preston Williams has shown signs however injury concerns are present. Albert Wilson and Alan Hearns opted out of the 2020 season and could be cap casualties to maximize salary cap space. Jakeem Grant could see more involvement Grant could see more involvement in the passing game however Lynn Bowden and Malcolm Perry both saw involvement in the passing game as well. 
the draft will provide some help to address someone to play opposite of Parker as well as solidifying the slot position. Notable names include Allen Robinson, Corey Davis, Sammy Watkins, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Nelson Aguilar. Miami Dolphins may also choose to add more solutions from free agents or draft. But I'm more inclined to free agents. Hearns and Wilson as mentioned could see themselves as the cap casualties, they could also see themselves traded to another team as well. The thought of the listed receivers, however, Corey Davis has been showing improvement and is coming off a career year. He is the second youngest, Smith Schuster, and could certainly be signed to a contract that would be more team-friendly compared to Robinson. Watkins has shown flashes with the Chiefs as well as the Bills during his career, with all the weapons on the Chiefs could he seek a team that can more chances to get the ball and make plays? In conclusion, going after Corey Davis would be a much more team-friendly first choice. The offensive line certainly improved in a number of ways from 2019 to 2020. However, the one way that needs to show more consistency is run blocking. The Dolphins need to establish some way to get a running game going. That process begins in the trenches with the line. At center, Ted Karras is a free agent for the Dolphins. Julian Davenport is also a free agent at the tackle position for the team. They still have players along the line that will continue to grow and develop including Austin Jackson, Robert Hunt, and Solomon Kinley. Notable free agents include tackle Cameron Irving, and guards Brandon Scherf, Joe Thune, and John Feliciano.